But, you know, your match against uh, Ocho on June 6th is one of the uh, bouts that everybody's talking about. It's pretty much the hot, biggest draw aside from Floyd Mayweather. Oh, you know, obviously, that is the main uh, match on the card. So how did your mm -hmm. match with Ocho uh, come to be about? How did that all uh, start up? Uh, you know, I, was, uh, I went to BKF 17 in Bir Birmingham, Alabama, and, you know, Chad actually sent me a message telling me he, he needed my help with something. And at first I didn't believe it was him until I, you know, I clicked on his page because, you know, sometimes on Instagram you get bots and fake profiles trying to sell you stuff or give you something for free and asking for your credit card and stuff. So, I, you know, I thought it was like a spam account, but, you know, I checked it out and it was, it was his real account. And, you know, I, I wrote him a message back was like, I don't believe this is Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. And, you know, he sent me a video of him at his daughter's track meet and, to prove that it was him because he, he was like, you know, why would I play like that? And, you know, he sent me a video and I was like, holy shit, this is Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson messaging me. And, you know, I ended up getting busy with the fights, you know, talking to some fans and taking pictures and signing a couple autographs and stuff. And, you know, I didn't think no more about it that night. But, you know, on the drive home from the, uh, from Alabama back to Virginia, you know, he messages me again and sends me his number, like, call me. And, you know, I blew it off until, you know, the next day. And, you know, my active active manager, you know, ended up coming to me while I was at work. And she said, I got something to tell you. And the first thing I thought was, you know, I thought was something was wrong with my mom or, or my son because I'm sitting there freaking out. I was like, is my mom okay? Is my son okay? And, you know, she was like, yeah, I guess they're fine, but we got a big opportunity and I was like, what? You know, she had just got off the phone with Nate Shook, the matchmaker of BKFC, and Mr. David Feldman, the owner, the CEO of BKFC. And she's like, we got a big opportunity. Uh, you want to know why Chad's been messaging you? Well, you're, they're offering you a, a fight against him. And I just was just like in awe. And, you know, I, you know, after she walked away and, you know, to, to go handle some, some more business, I ended up calling Nate Shook and, you know, he told me it's a big opportunity. It's a win-win situation for everybody. And do I want the fight? Do you accept? And I told him immediately, yes, sir, I, I want the fight. That is really, really, that's a great story. You know, like you mentioned at the beginning of the show, you know, Chad Johnson was somebody you looked up to. They have a chance to, you know, go have a match against him. That is, that's a really cool story. So how did, how did uh, Ocho Cinco kind of like find you? You know, of all the fighters, um, how does how does he contact you uh, to have a match with? Uh, you know, I've talked to him on the phone. You know, several times at, after we I found out that I was going to be fighting him, and you know, he's he's called me and we've had phone conversations, and you know, he mentioned that you know Jorge Masvidal mentioned my name to him, and that you know the Floyd Mayweather money team management team mentioned my name and I still have no idea how they even know who I am. Like, like I'm still flustered and, and trying to wrap my mind around it. Like it's crazy to me, but you know, they, they I guess, you know, they got my name in their mouth, so I, I, I must be worth something. So, you know, we're, we're here now all contracts and medicals and all that good jazz to, to get the fight going is, is done. And, you know, we got two and a half weeks till fight time. <laughs> 